The uh, Dino DiGiorgio uh, Memorial Fly-In here in Ball Ground, Georgia, and I brought my King Air. And uh, a lot of people have asked me about, you know, what what airplane is it and everything like that. So I'm going to explain it. This is a uh, Beechcraft King Air, and it's a C90, and it's the A model. So it was one of the first ones built. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about the color scheme. It's navy. And the unusual thing, this is called a heritage paint scheme. And this paint scheme replicates the 1914 flight, the first flight across the Atlantic of a Curtis Pusher airplane, twin engine Curtis airplane across the Atlantic. And it was the first Navy plane to fly across the Atlantic. They actually started off with four of them. And this airplane, number four, as you see on the uh, fuselage, was the only airplane to make it, the, the number four airplane. But uh, a little bit about it, it's a 155 inch wingspan. It weighs 60 pounds. It uh, is powered with geared, geared four to one electric motors. They're Contronic motors. It has a Contronic uh, 300 amp speed controller. And I fly it with four 6S 5500 batteries in each nacelle. So there's four batteries in each nacelle, two in series, two in parallel, and that puts out about 44 volts each nacelle, okay? Uh, duration, the flight duration is about 14 minutes. We've flown it 14 minutes before, no problem. I have uh, Robart retracts. They're air-operated retracts. The airplane started off uh, with a Bob Patton. It's a Bob Patton design. Bob made the molds for the fuselage and I laid them up. Also, the wings are styrofoam, sheeted, fiberglassed, and painted. The unique thing is the, the wing tubes for the outboard panels run all the way through the nacelles and behind the landing gear to help support the landing gear, the aluminum tubes go all the way across to help support that. Another feature is the motors, because they're electric, are light. So I don't have that, you notice how far the, the nacelles stick out, so I don't have that big leverage system in the front, because I'll show you here, when I open the nacelle, okay, the batteries go in here, but you can see that I shoved the batteries all the way back, so they're here, so they're real close to the CG. So the CG does not change very much at all with the 15 pounds of batteries. So there's eight, eight and a half, uh, uh, seven and a half pounds of batteries on each side. The, uh, like I say, the flight duration is about, about 14, 14 minutes, steadily 14 minutes. All the linkages are internal. Uh, you, there's no control arms or anything visible. Uh, I don't have a totally finished cockpit because I kind of just after two years of work, I just kind of got tired of working on it. And then if you come around here, Mike, the, the radio system is here in the hatch. Okay, so I have a air gauge. I have a switch for the lights. I have a switch for the receiver and then the servos run off the six, uh, separate battery pack and there's my retract air and my brake air. I do have brakes on it. And in the front, all the batteries are right up here in this nose. But the surprising thing is there's only 10 ounces of weight on that nose at the balance point. So it's nice easy rotation, quick rotation if you're in a short field. And the brakes are because if we do fly up a short field, I need uh, I need the brakes to stop it. The props are 21 and a half with a 16 pitch, and there you can dial the pitch. So we've worked it backwards for the most efficient battery operation to the engine at the 16 pitch, and that 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 creates a real nice scale speed if you work that backwards like that. So it's been a great airplane. It's been to Top Gun, it's been to the U.S. Nationals, it's been to the NASA Scale Classic, and I'm real happy with it. This year I've flown it in team competition with Frank Knoll, and the only reason, I'm not afraid to fly it, the only reason that is, Frank and I have flown in team for about four years, and we've always finished second. So I finally built an airplane 
that we can win with. So we did. We finished first place in, in all the contests we've flown in team with. Yeah, so, that's awesome. Well, I'll tell you what, Mike, thanks yeah. for telling us about it. I'm going okay. to do a little walk around and show the guys the okay. detail you did to it. Okay. It's an amazing model. And it's a real honor to get to see it. Well, thank you. Thank All right? You. I appreciate it. Thank I'll put you. the flaps down so you can take a look Okay, at super. It. Okay, guys, we're just going to pan around here and let you look at this. This is an incredible model. Uh, I know you've probably seen pictures of it in the magazines, but it really doesn't do justice unless you can see it in real life. It's an incredible airplane. The detail is just incredible. Mike did a fabulous job finishing it. The anniversary scheme looks fantastic, makes it easy to see. We'll back up here and let you see the whole thing. All right, that's it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.